Hello, everyone. Welcome to this uh, night session of uh, Diversify and Compound. My name is Pascal Difo, and uh, just like uh, the other Wednesday night, I'll be your host. Uh, before anything, let me remind everyone that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an investment advisor. I'm just sharing my personal experience as well as the uh, different activities I do online. And uh, if you choose to follow my footstep, you do it at your own risk. And the same way you own your successes, own your losses as well. And personally, I usually take them as experience. Um, I never take them as failure. Uh, however, if you choose to follow my footsteps, uh, make sure you only invest with money you can afford to lose. Uh, whether it's an investment or any kind of activity you do online with uh, you know, the aim of generating some additional cash flow, uh, make sure you only invest or you know, go into that activity with money you can afford to lose. Uh, do not borrow money to do these kind of things. Do not you know, take money that you need on a daily basis to do it. It is very important that you follow these rules. Because uh, any kind of uh, you know money generating activity involve uh, risk, risk of losing part or the entirety of the capital involved. So this being said, um, I would like to touch on a few points. Um, the uh, what we just did with uh, with Geraldine going through you know the issues that that she faced with her account is pretty much um is pretty much what what we uh the way we set up these uh zoom calls um and the problem with that is that it does not help us together grow it does help me grow and I think we covered, we, we talked about that last week. It does help me grow. Why? Because it's only my face that people see on the internet. And whenever they're looking for somebody to join on the project, guess who they come for, right? Um, so that is what I don't like. That is what I don't like. I want to see every one of you grow as well. And it is not that, you know, the possibility is not available. Um, I know that many of us have been burned uh, and we are scared or afraid to go back to friends or families or, you know, people in our uh, uh, phone book and tell them, hey, you know, I know that I, you know, I, uh, I told you about a project that didn't work out. Uh, but look, I have these ones, not even just sing, not, not even just one, not even just two. We have many that are working out for us right now. And uh, I truly partly believe that, and when I say hardly, I mean from my heart, not from not hard with H A R D. Uh, I, I, I truly believe that we owe it to those that followed us in fiasco projects. We owe it to them to let them know about the projects that we are now involved in and that are working out for us. Um, because we should not write off anybody. We should let them make the call to be written off themselves. That means if somebody trusted us and followed us in a project and that project turned out to be a scam or for whatever reason didn't work out, we also owe it to them to let them know when we, we think we found one or two or three or four that work or that are working out for us. And this is very important. I know many of us are finding it very difficult to go back to the same people. But imagine this, you are currently in uh, some of you just one, some two, some maybe all four projects you're involved with 
you know, four projects with me. And uh, pretty much all four projects are working. Of course, just like in life, any project has its own hiccups. But I trust those projects with hiccups more than projects that look perfect just to, uh, you know, to collapse one day and disappear forever. So to me, I would say all the projects that we're on, whether it's Daisy, uh, whether it's um, Hyperfund, whether it's AI marketing or uh, the coming, or actually five, um, uh, the, uh, the Academy or the, um, or the DT, DT Socialize, uh, I think they are working fine. Um, and, and many here, if I only take the example of Hyperfund, are very happy. And usually, do you know how you know people are happy? They never say a word. They silently enjoy the money they're getting. They silently enjoy the reward they're getting. And, and that is good. But I think we owe it to those that are really disappointed because, you know, 99, if not 100% of the project that they join, not just because of you or myself, um, turn out not to work out for them. I think we owe it to them to tell them, hey, you know what? After all, there's this project that is actually working out for me. Um, you know, I don't need to do much. All I need to be is a member of the community. And, uh, and then I get rewarded. And then some will say no, but they'll keep it in their head. They'll keep it in their head because they'll watch you. Because if you told them that, hey, you know what? I found one that's working out for me. They'll keep watching you because they will be waiting for the day you're gonna tell you're gonna tell them, oh my God, you know what? Good thing you didn't join me. But they're not gonna see that day coming. And then they'll finally take one last chance just to see that, oh my God, you were right. Oh my God, you were right. So think about it. The reason I'm telling you this is because. For, for a very long time, I was like, oh my God, no African will ever go back to, uh, to, to um, online businesses after what has happened with uh, two or three of the last ones that were, you know, that came to Africa. But this is not true. This is not true at all because when I joined some of the Zoom calls, there are 300 African people and mostly probably the same people that you and I know. Mostly probably the same people that were involved with the other fiasco. So you should not be afraid of going back and talking to the people and telling them, hey, you know what? I found one that is good and I can actually tell you why I believe it's good. If you do that, some may say, no, you know what? But that no is actually, okay, I'm going to think about it. Give me some more time. Some other people will actually tell you, okay, um, why do you think this one is the better one? And then it will open the door for you to give them a chance to listen to it. And you have the choice at that point to invite them to one of our meetings, to one of our Zooms, or if you feel confident enough to tell them about the project. Now, for all these reasons, we are modifying the way we wanna do our presentations. Instead of spending the night doing, I don't know how, covering, I don't know how many different projects and, uh, you know, in my opinion, it's not very productive. So instead, we wanna cover 
oh, we want to do that one project at a time over the week. If possible, depending on how many people we have available that are able or that are willing, because I think we are all able, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, taking a little bit of courage and, uh, and, and do a presentation. And I can assist you with that. I can give you some tips. You know, we could actually do a presentation in the middle of the day where we know that we can get some people to join. Um, and then another one, you know, early, early evenings here, maybe not 730, but maybe six, you know, maybe 530 when it's not too late everywhere else so that we can get a lot of people to join. When I see the amount of people in the other Zooms for the other opportunities, it makes me think that we, we, have, we have the power to grow our community. You have the power to grow your community. And I'll support you in that, especially now that I know that we don't only have one great project. We don't have two great projects. We have five of them. We truly have five excellent projects. So I want you to start building your community. Don't feel shy about it. Don't feel... So don't feel shy about it. Because after all, it is your community you're growing. And um, the truth is that it is all about communities. It is all about networking. It is all about the people you know. And again, I don't think anybody on this call right now is shy about the rewards they're getting from Hyperfun, if I take that one alone. I don't think anybody who has joined DAISY on, in January or in March is ashamed from what they're getting from DAISY. Those who have joined AI marketing um, a few months, maybe at least six months ago, and then past their three months mark and started collecting, they know how it is and it will be back there. So I think these are all projects that you should be able to talk to people about and, and get them to join. So I really hope that we can find some of you guys to assist in presenting if you're available during the day, great, because then you'll be covering the time slot that is left out right now. Most of the people are available um, early evenings and night. Um, so As you probably noticed, I created the website, uh, not a website, I created a group where people are actually, you know, joining to, uh, to, 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 to do presentations because we need that, we need that. And another, we need to find a way to bring people in. And as I was saying the other day, all it takes is everyone to decide to bring three people. If you bring three people and those three people each bring three people, and we keep going like that, before we know it, you will have a great network, you will have a great team, and that's all it takes. That is all it's, it takes. If we all take our phones, if we all take our phones, I'm pretty sure you have over a hundred contacts in there. If you take your WhatsApp, you probably have, probably it's synced, but I'm sure you have even more people in there. So make a good use of that phone. 
make a good use. Send, if, if you're shy talking to people about it, send them a message. If you send to 10 people, even if it is just three that answer, that is three more than before you send those messages. And the plan is to uh, to reward to reward new members with uh, with accounts. That means you know um, have prizes or giveaways at the end of the meetings, uh, so that new members can actually you know get a prize. So that if you bring somebody, they 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 they, they have a chance to actually get their their very first account in. And uh, on the project funded by by us, but I think this is really something we need to do, and every one of us need to work on. All right. So last week I said I didn't want to, you know, force anybody into, um, you know, into. Um, um, naming the, themselves as, you know, for presentations. I haven't seen any, I haven't seen many people coming forward, but I hope, I hope we're gonna have people to do presentations. Now, the, the technique we wanna use, the technique we really wanna use, I, I, I'm fully confident in all the projects that we are in. The technique we really wanna use is to go into languages where there is nobody yet. Because there's no point doing the same thing everybody else is already doing. There's no point. It's a waste of time. If everybody on YouTube is presenting a project in English, guess what? As soon as you start presenting it in Spanish or in French, all those people that felt left over, guess where they're going to go? They're going to join you. So we got to identify in the projects that we're working on, what are the left, um, what's the right word for it? What are those that are, you know, that are not feeling like, you know, they, 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 they've been taken into account? If you look at, AI marketing, language on the internet is French. Even though the platform has a lot of English content, everybody, most, I would say 98 to 99% of the people presenting, present in French. What does that tell you? It tells you that English is in demand. We need to fill that void. We need to present that project in English. Not many people in Ghana, Nigeria, and South Africa, all those English part of Africa, not all those, a lot of people in there don't even know about it. And not to mention all the other countries that are very keen for online projects. They don't know about it because it is not in a language that they can understand. Same thing for DT Socialize. We all here, agree that DT Socialize is a bomb waiting to explode. And yet, 99% of the presentation are either in French or in Italian. Where is English? That's another void to fill. That is another void to fill. So there's no point for us focusing on everything in French, 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 even though French is already everywhere on the internet, on YouTube, let's do those in the language that is on demand or in demand. And then the other ones like Daisy or, or uh, Hyperfun, they are saturated, I could say, with English. Those ones, I'll do them in French. I think it would make more sense to do them in French because the French language for those ones is almost non-existent. And that is how we can impose ourselves 
as people of authorities in those uh, projects. Uh, before I finish this introduction, um, at the academy, Leader Emmanuel had been testing um, a project, had been testing a robot, a trading robot called Royal Q. Personally, I didn't even know. He, he never told me he was testing it. So it's only after, it's only after I, um, I told him about it the other day that he sent me some screenshot of, uh, you know, his testing and all what he was doing. So Royal Q is going to be added to the, um, to the academy uh, in a way that, because you, you will see and hear many people talk about Royal Q as a trading robot. The good thing about it is that you can pretty much make all your trading on spot go in cruise control. You set up everything and you go to bed and it does the thing, it brings you your, 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 your profits and, and everything is beautiful. The key here though, the key is really picking the right cryptos, right? We all have access to Binance and yet we're not making the same money. So the key here will be picking the right crypto. So after studying uh, Royal Q for four months, uh, we'll be adding it to the, uh, to the academy. Um, and then we'll, you know, we will be helping in the configuration and uh, we'll be helping in picking the right, uh, the right signals and picking the right cryptos that we should be uh, trading, the robot should be trading. And then, you know, just sit back and relax. Many of our challenges when it comes to that has been, um, maybe I should talk about that later. Um, anyway, I'll talk about that later. So this was just a short, actually not short, but uh, rather long introduction. Um, and I'll be holding this introduction for the weeks to come, just to make everybody aware and make it go deep into your you know, head that we need to go back to those people that, you know, that were with us when we were with those projects that failed, the projects that failed, and, uh, and let them know about the projects that we're on that are working out and, um, and then let them make the call not to, not, to, not to participate. At least when they see you driving in your, I don't know, Mercedes or whatever you will be driving in because everything worked out so beautifully. Um, they're not going to say, yeah, you took me with you when, you know, uh, the other thing you knew it was going to fail. And now that you found one, you never even bother telling me about it. Right. And then it's not going to make you feel guilty if you know that you told them, but they chose not to follow. All right. So this being said, tonight, just like I, as I'm, I, I'm saying, we are only going to have a presentation of maybe I should say one and a half because the one is going to be DT socialized and the second one is going to be Royal Q. I'm going to have like an introduction on uh, Royal Q and, and uh, I'm actually going to show you my own account quickly just so you have an idea and have an idea of what it can do. Um, and then that will be it for the night. I know it's almost uh, 45 minutes already. So let's not waste any more time. Is there any question before I move to the next section? No? 